I mean, this does look like a chateau. It looks haunted to me. Yeah, it definitely looks haunted. Yeah. I have seen a ghost as clearly as I've seen you. In the door that shall not be seen. The hole. What the hell? Come on, bro. Bro, what? <laughs> We're in your servant quarters. Oh my oh god! My god! Okay. Yeah, let's show everyone. Alright, okay, so this is the new SLS camera that I bought. Can you walk a bit closer, please, and set this one off? Yeah, please, come come up to us. Look! Yeah. How? Oh, man. How? Dude, there is someone literally How? in the house. 100%. Okay, alright. This does look like a chateau. We're rolling in now. This is beautiful. Wow. Whoa. It looks haunted to me. Yeah? <laughs> Definitely looks haunted. Yeah. Oh, he's telling you to park over there. You made a... it on time. <laughs> Hold on, Paul. You made it on time. Yeah, we managed to. Hi, nice to meet you, Steve. Hello, hi. Nice to meet you. We're the two English guys. Jeff. What? Just the three of you? No, no, these two. Josh, who's the. Uh... What? Was... Oh, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Right. Good to meet you. That's, That's our friend Seth. Right. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, it's lucky it's not raining. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, good. it's <laughs> a good night tonight. It's a really good night. Let's go inside, guys. What's happening, Francis? What's going to happen with Russia? What? You know what I was talking about? Your opinion on politics. What's going to happen with Russia? With Russia? How's it going to end? I think he's going to be overthrown. Yeah, do. I think he's had it. He's, oh. he's, he's got... He's got it wrong. Yeah? And I mean, I think we've planned to be a four day campaign, a five day campaign, and everybody go home and be happy. And um, casualties minimal. And I think they're taking some big hits. And they'll take some. And that's stupid. The one thing you don't want to do is fight in a built up area. But if you are going to fight in a built up area, don't demolish for houses. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Don't demolish it. Far easier to fight in, dem in dem dem The Russians should know that from Stalingrad. So right, I've cut the door. Come on in, gents. Um, I, I think they've got a wrong thing of a fight on their hand. Well, wrong thing that goes on, but more likely one day by yourself. So. Now, these guys, the well, money they lost is serious money. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I could organise to kill Putin tomorrow, I could make a hundred billion dollars <laughs> just betting on the market. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's, worth, it's, it's worth my while giving you a billion dollars to go if you yeah. put it off. Yeah. Because actually I can go on the market. I could buy all these bombed out stocks. Yeah? Yeah. And the <laughs> next day, the next day, bingo. Let's go through I'll tell you a bit about the press. We're going for all. And we'll talk about I'll tell you a, a little bit about the press. The venue's in us. Whoa! Where are you all staying? Uh, uh, the golf resort. What? The golf resort. The uh, Glen. Glen. Glen uh, Fing Fingley Glen. Fingle Glen. Fingle Glen. Fingal yeah. Glen. That's it. Of course. So you yeah. Golfers. Uh, I like. Crap golf I, I like a bit of driving. <laughs> Not exactly Augusta. <laughs> I, I'm a good driver. <laughs> Sometimes with my boy. Whoa. Dude, this is nice. Wow. Right. Go in here and I'll give you a little bit of a chat about You don't see this, it's that. This is your first time around. What? <laughs> this is gorgeous. I love the checker for too. Yeah. I'm used to this one, but still, we're going to see this first time around. We won't see it last time. You know, you've all come a long way. So, welcome to Hit Great Northwood. Yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about this house, my family, and of course, what you're all interested in. Um, the, the ghosts which we have. Yeah. Um, we've been here as a family ever since, at least for 800 years, which um, is quite a long time. Very few families have that have um, a bit of the same house that time. Maybe perhaps so a just lack of adventure, <laughs> mm. a lack of moving. Fought against the French in the Hundred Years' War. It's a pity we don't fight against the French now. 
but they are a sort of protected species. Um, we're not allowed to kill them anymore. But of course, in those days, they were fair game. Uh, what of um, what you really want to hear about is, is, is what a goose, what do I know about goose? Um, well, I, I think I, I have seen a goose as clearly as I've seen you twice in my life. And that's the first thing to say. Once when I was about five years old, I woke up and there was, this, and I, and there was a girl on, on my bed about where my knees were. I was only about five. I thought it was my sister playing a silly joke. So I hit her, as you did your sisters. Um, but I, of course, my, my, hat, my fist went right through. So I went um, hid under the blankets. When I looked up, she was standing by the door looking. And then she faded through the door. And that was it. 25 years, 20 years later, 25 years later, I was in a different bedroom. And I woke up. And I could see a figure by my bed. You know that time when you wake up late at night and you think, oh, fuck, I've got to get up and have... I won't get back to sleep unless I go up, get up and have a pee. Yeah. Um, and you don't want to wake up because you don't... And so I opened one eye. And it was hot. I didn't want to be brown neutral in the south. I, and I saw a dark silhouette by the, my head, by the, by the top of my bed. And I thought to myself, oh, fuck a burglar. And then I thought, oh, fuck, I've got nothing to hit him with. <laughs> now, how stupid is that? Yeah. Um, really bad news. So I thought, well, I'll tell you what, I'll lie very still and keep my eyes open and see what he does. <laughs> and so it was dark silhouette moved to the foot of the bed. And when it turned round, there she was, the girl I'd seen 20, 20, 25 years earlier. Exactly the same, I knew her once. She was in a shift, holding up a candle in her right hand. And just like she had in my other bedroom 21 years earlier, she walked through the bed and stopped at my knees. And then I said something really stupid. I said, I hope you are a friend, I've always thought of you as a friend. And, um, and then she faded back to the doorway and then faded out through the doorway, just like we had all those years ago. So that's the only ghost I've seen. I've seen her twice. Um, but there are others, um, which I know of. I mean, there's, um, we used to have a couple of Labradors who were very, very um, psychic. I mean. And I've seen them in the library um, when my mother was, was alone here. Um, um, I see them. They suddenly their hackles would rise and their heads would move. They follow something across the room, and then they suddenly, one occasion, I remember they actually went for it. They went for it, but of course nothing could happen. Right. And I see them do the same thing across the garden. I would say, you know how dogs sometimes bite at somebody's ankles. Yeah. There they were going up. They were going at my ankles, and something could see. And I know who that was because years earlier my mother told me about someone, a friend of hers who stayed uh, with her, who said, Oh, Joe, who's that old woman I saw walking across the garden with a basket of herbs under her, her arm? And she could see her so clearly, she identified the herbs because she was a gardener. And my father said, Oh, that's, that old, that's the old housekeeper from years back who lived here all her life from being a, a young maid, being a head housekeeper. I loved it so much, she never left. So that's her. Who else have we got here? Well, when we, when Kishanda and I first um, got engaged, we came, down, we came down here, every night when we were living here, when we were engaged, my wife, they used to give a party above our, our bedroom. Um, it was rather like going to sleep, just before one went to sleep. It was um, like being in a block of flats and hearing um, a party going on above you. You know, people talking, laughing, furniture around sometimes. Just that, it was, uh, 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 and, they were, and when we came back from our honeymoon, they gave one hell of a party. <laughs> and we haven't heard it since. But other people have heard it. A friend of mine, um, um, she heard it one night. And she woke up, her husband said, come on, Johnny, you've got to wake up. This is a party, it's a party. Mm -hmm. So it was a party. And, um, 
and uh, then um, what else is that? Well, really, people have seen old things and hear old things. And my wife was in the garden, which is just by the side of a big staircase there, in January, because I've been away shooting. And she was pruning roses and whatever um, and with my, our nanny, then boyfriend. And suddenly, they heard this rumbling noise. And everything seemed to stop. The, the sky was everything moved very far. And she thought the whole house was falling down. And she looked behind her, and she could see the big windows on that grey staircase flexing and moving. And she didn't realise. And then suddenly, after it all snapped back again, and when she told me the story when I came home, I said, hey, we saw an action replay at the time on the, the, that side of the house was set, but the ceiling of the wall fell in and killed a worker 200 years earlier, about 1810. Um, so, then, on the whole, I always think this is a happy house and the ghosts are, and the spirits or whatever I inhabit it, are friends. Um, but there is definitely one who scares the shit out of several people, I know. Um, and I remember uh, my old, uh, uh, an old maid who used to work here, telling me um, about my father's, uh, who was a soldier, his, his, his servant, soldier servant, who slept upstairs having an appalling experience with feeling he was being crushed and having chains drawn across his chest. And I remember her telling me that. And then it happened to the girlfriend of a friend of mine in another bedroom. She had the same experience. She was absolutely shaken. She'd never come here again for the same night. She had this feeling of chains being dragged over her and um, being crushed. And also that same thing has happened to a, a, a friend of, a, of, of one of my sons and to uh, my eldest son as well. So there's, a bad, there's some bad thing. You feel like you're being crushed, etc. And it's very worrying. There we are. So, yes, bra. Um, do I believe in ghosts? I say I don't believe in ghosts. I know they exist because I see one. Right. So I don't believe. A belief is something you don't understand because you don't see, see anything, isn't it? Yeah. So I know. I know ghosts exist. Can I explain ghosts? No, of course not. Nor can anyone else. Um, we won't know the answer until we go on the last great adventure when we stuff it, um, which is the biggest adventure we ever go on. Um, but yes, they exist. And I can't explain it. Um, I don't even try. There you go. Well, Seems very interesting. Yeah. Okay, boys. Have a great evening. Yeah. Look up. Yo, I've been here for seven years, back and forth. I've never heard that accent. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, he's a full blown Yeah, I've never, I've never heard that accent. I've heard every accent in this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, have a great night. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Really interesting. Just like man. that, he's gone. Yeah. Just like that, that was the best show I've ever seen. Oh, he's a cool guy. He is. He's I like cool. him a lot. He lives here, but he's not gonna bother us. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. He lives yeah. yeah. here, but he's not gonna bother us. Yeah, we just need to make sure we don't walk into his bedroom while he's asleep. Oh, we Good know we this. Good. <laughs> we gotta know what the room is. Yeah, we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll see where we've got access to it. Okay. He's <laughs> great. You're gonna have to put the F's out. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. no, I can keep them there. He didn't really say that for long. Maybe three, I think. Well, he had, a, he, had, he had a TV show called The Effing Foods. Yeah. It was oh, really. Yeah. It was a uh, Channel Four Fly on the Wall documentary where they come and spent. I like, lived with him for maybe two months. Yeah. And filmed. Yeah, it was called the Effie Fulfords. Wow. I never, I never so he, he would just say the F word a lot? Yeah. Yeah, it's in his
Okay. He's a camera guy. He's getting a hundred billion dollars from the Russians or something. <laughs> oh, he's, no, he wants to go and assassinate Putin. Yes. And he, he would, like, get, like, a hundred billion in stocks? Yeah. yeah. He'd buy all his stocks up. <laughs> Yo. Okay, yeah. toilets. He can send us for the job. <laughs> he can hire us for the job. Toilets, okay. Toilets under there. Okay. So, okay, toilets over there. Yeah. I'm going to find a secret door. No, I'm going to find a secret door. I'm going to find the secret I door. Not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not going to find the secret door. Right. If you find it, don't tell anyone else. It's a trophy of the video. You feel it? True. Yeah, hopefully the adrenaline is going to be known tonight. Alright. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Ah, yeah, it's true. Nothing, Steve. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, boys, let's get it cracking. Yep, let's get it. There's one there. And there? That's the yeah, door. Yeah, I can see it. Let's check it out later. Let's check all these doors. Dude, look at that artwork, dude. This is the old service kitchen. So you look at this. We could have just brought our food here. It's a microwave. Oh yeah, so there is. What is up team fighters? Welcome back to another video. Today you join me in this magnificent, elegant home of an aristocrat. Uh, Steph, you vibing out? All right, it's in a bit, man. I'm chilling, I'm not used to stuff like this. Hey bro, you're missing the best part. Why are you chilling there? When you can chill in the door that shall not be seen. The hole. What the hell? Come on bro. I don't know if there's a light in here. Holy crap. Yep. And this is just in the tucked away in the corner. There are secret doors everywhere in this place. Oh my god. That's another doorway there. Yeah. But that's not been open in a long time because of the way they've got the pipe going through. I wonder where that leads. Wow. Yeah. This place is a gold mine. Has secrets in history. So we're in the mansion of the Fulfords now. You might be aware of Francis Fulford. He is a bit of a celebrity, TV shows, public appearances, uh, very, very um, eccentric. He's a he's an unusual guy. And this looks like to be his uh, drawing room. Once upon a time, this would have been home to generals, colonels, Dating back 800 years, the family has been in this property. God knows what secrets are hidden here. We're going to find out. Oh, we are. Yeah. And we're going to try and find out some of those secrets from his great ancestors. Some of whom are painted on the walls. Oh, bro. Spirit box and stuff. Talking to the painting. This is going to be a good video. Hell yeah. Okay, going into this first room. I'm going to give you a walk round. Almost old school exploring style. I know we've been missing that abandon. I know we've been missing that exploring. But today we have both. We are going to explore this place, then do the paranormal. So first let's take a look at some of these paintings. So who is this? I think this was his dad. Yeah, I think this was his dad, Colonel Fulford. And apparently these are some of the battles that the Fulfords have been in. This is Francis's son. Strangely in a modern paint, oil painting like that. Looks like a vampire. Another depiction of a paint, um, another depiction of a, a battle actually says it on it. The death of General Philip. A battle of Luna. Wow, well, okay. These are some amazing sights. This is Devon, 1759. That is Francis's mum as well. P 
picture looking like it was the 1930s. Um, just as 1920 to 19, 1920 to 2012. But, like that secret door, take a look at this. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get in this one. There's one here. You can see that. That is a secret door. But obviously there's a painting there. There's the hinge of it. Um, I already opened up a secret door that Paul, our uh, ghost tour guy, has never seen before. And he was like, how did you do that? So many years of practice. And just take a look at the staircase. It is absolutely amazing. And on here we have a guard. Someone is guarding the staircase. Sword and shield in hand. Chain mailed up to the nines. And it looks to be uh, maybe maybe two to the times. 1500s. But yeah, that is cool. Don't often see that. And that's all wood by the way. That is completely carved out of wood. So Josh, have you seen any other kind of secret doors about? Yeah, um, did you see the one right here? Yeah, I opened it. Oh, you opened it? Yeah, um, I was the one who showed you found a new one? So I opened that one, and I found another one, me and Seth did. Ah, oh, dude, I'm gonna But you can't it. open it. There's a painting in front of it. Oh, so they blocked it? Yeah, I might actually go and ask Paul if you can take the painting down and open you know, let's, it. Let's ask him after this. Okay. Uh, So this is the one that I opened up that I'd never seen before. Dude, I have freaking scabbers stuck in my head. It's the like, non-stop. Like, I can't get it out. Which one? Uh, I don't know. It's one of the ones we played. We scoured in. <laughs> is that it? You found another one? Uh, here. There's one right here. When I first come here, this part, this wall was here. Really? Yeah. And that was like, just like bare brick. Oh, right. Three or four years. So that. Because look. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, this window so, was in that room. That so, so that's might just be a joining piece then yeah, to extend it, okay. Yeah, because yeah, where this floor is. Oh, right, I see. Like an old room. I see. Okay, so this has been extended. That's why we got that piece. Yeah. But why would it? Why would it be there? I don't get it. Yeah. I mean, look. That was, that's just an outside wall. Yeah, that's just that, the outside wall. You tell me you never found these secret doors. I've just opened them another one. <laughs> that one though. That one though. Uh, it's just weird how you shut them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> found, found another secret door. Yeah, it's right here. Found another secret door. Yeah, here. Another one. Secret door. Where? <laughs> yeah. I just opened it. Yeah. No, no way. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Dang, I didn't even see that. No, no, no. <laughs> I've been coming here for 15 years. <laughs> it's been 15 minutes now, too. Now, see, even no. if it's just a freaking storage room, that's so cool because it's like, why is there just a random door next to the staircase? Yeah, I, I would never have found that one. Yeah. Standard. That's an right there. Yeah, that's, that's conditioning. That's yeah. five years of constant searching for the unknown. <laughs> good point. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> 15 years of searching the unknown. Goddamn. And this room is where we first came in and interviewed Francis. Now, this place is absolutely amazing. Now, this room is something else. You've got the chandelier hanging low. You've got the taxidermy animals. Not swinging weirdly. You've got the taxidermy animals up on the, the walls, which is oh, maybe, I don't know, 25 foot high? It's like three stories, just the ceiling. 
uh, the amazing fireplace, and they've got this wood panelling all over, and it's all hand carved. I mean, look at the state of this. Look at that. It is unbelievable, and it looks like he's about to decapitate her. She's on the chopping block. Well, she's knelt down on her knees. All kinds of stories on the walls, and apparently, some of these walls depict stories of the family, including this one. So here is one of the forefords that uh, Francis mentioned, and one of his claims to fame was these two uh, guys that he killed in a battlefield. Now he was notorious for traveling the world in battle, constantly in battle, and uh, eventually came to uh, hung, drawn and quartered. Well, yeah, this is all hand carved by the way. Everything. But you already know I'm still looking for them secret doors. There's that secret door there. These are doors by the way, that's a door. This is a door, is it? Oh no, maybe not. Maybe that's not a door. This one's a door. And here is safe room. This is um, the old servants' quarters, and this is the kitchen we're staying in. Bro, that's weird. What are you doing? Listen, to this. so I got black coffee, right? And I'm on a diet. So what I did is I took the donut because I didn't want to eat it in the coffee, so I get like a donut flavor. And there's a little cube of brownie, as if it's a cube of sugar. And that's it, just so I can just taste it without. So you took a Tesco's brownie. Yeah. And a Tesco's donut. To get the ghost hunt ready. And dumped it in today. coffee. Diet starts today, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You're like, you want to pound it? You're just eating. I know. It's bad, dude. You That's like it? Disgusting. You like that? <sighs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. I'll let you guys comment, not me. So in the safe room, this is apparently one of the oldest parts of the building. So the floor dates back 900 years. So if you're, you know, I believe in a stone tape theory, this is one of the spots you want to be at. Okay, yeah, we're in the old, the old servants' quarters now, so this would have been a really busy area. Um, lots of sort of people, cooks, uh, chefs, uh, food, prepare, food preparation going on. So the corridor outside is really, really busy, because that sort of joined the, the, the main sort of house to, um, to this area. So we've, got, uh, we've come across a spirit lady who sort of uh, rushes around quite a lot, really, really sort of busy, um, and uh, go with the name Beth or Elizabeth. Okay, so that's, that's sort of the, the lady sort of in this area, so it'll be interesting what you get on that one. Okay. Um, up in the, the ballroom, particularly by the fireplace, uh, towards the, as you're facing the fireplace on the right hand side, you get sort of, um, I think it's one of the Fulford's uh, ancestors, right. you, you get a really strong smell of tobacco, and mm. that's, that's usually Back sort of backed up, up okay. with um, either a K2 or a REM pod going off, so if you put something uh, trigger up in the fireplace, nice. you tend to get that smell first, and then bang, you get <coughs> something to sort of validate it. Um, also in the, the, the ballroom as well, as you walk into the ballroom, the far corner always seems very sort of, um, very sort of atmospheric. You, you walk into that corner, it's very, very sort of different feel, and a lot of people see something sort of tall dark shadows sort of in that corner, almost like somebody's watching. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's the sort of corner up to the doorway. Um, down in the um, reception area as well, where we, where we first come in, um, we've had that so there's quite a heavy round table in there. We've had that sort of moving as people have been standing around it, not actually physically touching it, but sort of all heard it sort of scrape across the floor or something to get in there. People get touched in this corridor outside. Um, nice. People with hats on. Yeah. Yeah, I've had them flicked off. Um, Good luck, guys. Oh, you guys. Yeah. And right. pockets, if you've got sort of loose change in your pockets, they'll let, let them yeah. know. Sort of like pocket type thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's enough to go on. So yeah, interesting place. So um, have fun. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, definitely try. Yeah, for, uh, we're gonna try to have fun. Thanks I mean, we we should ball. do. We should do. Considering it's not gonna be that big of a place, we've got specific rooms we need to do, and plenty of time to do it. So it's gonna be a good That's chill true. one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Guys, you don't realize this, but yeah. we only had three hours of sleep today. Not much sleep. We're like sleep deprived right now. Three hours. You've had three hours. Must be nice, I've had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Steve, you've got a tolerance. Yeah, Steve. Oh, Steve, you beat me. I'll do my outro.
So this is the ballroom. This is the final room of the place that you haven't seen. Um, it is probably the best room. The architecture, how clean it is, the lights around the border of the room that creates the shadows on the roof. Absolutely amazing in here. And also the paintings are unbelievable too. Here's a battle. A big battle. The Battle of Newport, 1600 by Sebastian. Interesting. So we're probably gonna go downstairs now and crack on with the investigation. Um, I wanted to get around and explore this place a little bit first, see if we could find any more secret doors, didn't. There's three in total that we know of, so if you do see anything that looks like a, a secret door and you, you think you believe it might be, leave me a comment down below because I probably will come back here at some time and I will check it out. Okay, so right now we are going to be starring inside the room that we did the interview with Francis. Um, not sure what experiments we're going to do yet. Got the whole equipment, probably going to pop it all out. But like Josh said, not feeling really anything negative here, uh, which is probably good because we've dealt with nothing but demons, poltergeists for this trip so, so far. I mean... Okay, so in all seriousness, I'm actually missing Ben. I think, I think it would have been good to have Ben here. I like Ben. You like I'm Ben? Team Ben. See, are you Team Ben? I'm a Team Ben for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't know what you guys thought of Ben yet, but he was deadly serious about what he does. He had his own grimoire. We thought there were scribbles on the wall. It turned out to be some kind of demonic language. I think the guy is very, very good and we are definitely going to get him on the video again. If you want to see him on the video again, leave me a comment down below because if you guys want it, you will get it. You can't bullshit this. This is legit. It only, this only happened once to scare it in. With two music boxes going off at once. This is so unexplainable. Yeah. Can you move away from the boxes, please? Can you all come into the room? Look, man. Mine stopped now. Oh, no, it didn't. Tell you now though, that door moved. I really can't wait to look back at that footage and see it. Yeah, it moved. What if we step away? Like, yeah. all back. Just yeah, if we stop. Right, follow, yeah. follow us, please. Follow us. We want to have a meeting. Come in, please. Alright, guys, what did I miss? There's something there? Oh, oh no, there's a box that started going off. Bro. Both of them. Gives me chills every time. Yeah, the music boxes are always every the craziest. Alright, so should we start this investigation? Yeah, we'll just talk and, and let it go with them. Let's get into it. Oh, I think, unless like there's a lot of people just piling in here like a, like a party. Yeah. He did say parties go on in the ballroom. Yeah. Alright, let's Maybe do we this. step away. Like sit down or something? Yeah. What if you're now? Right, that's calibration. Now if it goes off it look. Oh, okay. Yo! Both doing it again. You just shut them off and turned them back on. Wait, what? How do you explain that? That's legit. That's legit. Wait, wait, I wanna try one thing though. This doesn't go off while well, that is on then. Maybe that could be making it go off. Alright. Can you step in front of it, please? Oh, okay. 
All right, that the Bucks fit. Hey, I gotta be a skeptic. You damn know? The, damn people, skeptics, you know, in our midst. Yo, you guys need a skeptic. You know, there's viewers. How'd you explain like, that? Oh, the detected by the other music yeah, box, so. right. but now it's not. So we debunk that. Okay. There could be a spirit in there. We, See, now we're 100%. Yeah. And, and look at. And that was on command. Yeah, on yeah. command. All right, I believe. I believe now. Watch, let's try again. Are you ready? Ready? In front of it. Could you please step in front of that music box again, please? Let's really prove Steve wrong. Well, we're, we're just going off already. Right? Yeah, really you already proved that. that. Yeah. Jeez. The thing is, I don't know if they're circling back and forth or what. So there's someone here. Should we try to, like... We should just get into this. Yeah, should we just do a spirit box session? Or we should it? probably do it here. Yeah. Yeah, actually. In the no, doorway. Let me try DR60 right here. Because obviously they are attention really freaking I'm gonna get the ramp on you as well. Alright, ready? Alright, uh, it's calibration. We should probably shut them off for this one though. Because we already know they we already know they're gonna work. We won't go to hear us. Something there in the shadow. Yeah. It's dead means. Could be a vengeance. Well, this one's not going off anymore. Can, can you walk a bit closer, please, and set this one off? Yeah, please, come come up to us. Look. Yeah. How, oh, man? How? Dude, there is someone literally How? 100%. Okay, all right. Us. How is that possible? You can't beat that. Okay. There is someone right here, guys, and we're going to talk to the DR60. Whole How is this possible? All right. Oh, door's moving again. What? Wait, wait a minute, is that the shadow? I thought I just saw a shadow. It might be the shadow. I'm no, tripping. It. it might be the shadow. Oh, oh what if it's the shadow is detecting that's moving? <sighs> yeah, we've proved the music boxes. There's clearly something here. Okay. No, shadows don't set them off. Now we're, we're going to use the... Now we're going to try to do a DR60. Wait, say again? The shadows don't set them off, the Rooks Sonic. Here we okay. go. So yeah, the shadows don't set them off. But we can hear you if you talk to us. Are you a male or female? Do you like our music boxes? Is it okay that we're in this mansion? Do you want to communicate with us tonight? Do you like Francis, the owner? Are you a Fulford? That was a loud one. That was a sentence. Yeah, what do you say? Yes. I do. I, do. I heard we do. Yeah. Or I do, we do. What's that? What the fuck is that? Like a bell. Rem That's the REM pod. That's the REM pod over there by the corridor. My REM pod? So yeah. That's, oh, you've got the temperature detection on, I think. So maybe it's getting, like, getting colder in here? Is that why it's going off? Well, I don't know which model that is, but if it's got a blue LED, it's going colder. If it's got a red LED, it's going hotter. So what was going off a minute ago? Hi, my name is Dan. I mean, you know harm at all. We've been invited by potentially our distant relative, Francis. And he said we can come in and communicate if you're all nice spirits here. So if you want, feel free to come in and talk to us. We have a ramp around the middle, EMF readers, ramp pods up there. Oh, that's Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus.
things are looking good. I don't get it. I don't know. I really trust that. It's I something do. there. Yeah, definitely. It's like they're just kind of watching us, just like hanging around, not really trying to come into the room, but they're really just trying to scout us. Hang out. Yeah, and just like they're curious. That's really it. I don't know. Well, if we shut our lights off, Just turn your light off, set, bro. Turn it off. Yeah, I want to see something. Wow, still the same. All right, so someone's here again. They're just in this hallway. They don't talk to us except that one thing that I do. Yeah. Well, they want. They said that they do want to communicate. Right. And that it is okay. To do. Okay, so we've got stuff everywhere. Music box pointing in there. REM pod, two EMF meters on the stairs right at the start. Another REM pod there, the Lantern one. Full spectrum camera up there. My REM pod's up there. Steve's night vision camera and REM pod's up there. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. I think I should put it right here, right? Yeah, that'd be cool. SLS. Oh. Yeah, we can do SLS. SLS would be good here. Yeah. Another music box, Josh is pointing into that door. But the shadows make things a bit trippy. I thought that was moving them, but it's the shadows. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. The shadows definitely play tricks on your eyes. Especially when you move your camera around and the shadow moves. It kind of makes it look like it moves somehow. Alright guys, is it dead? Oh, no. Hang on, I think this takes... This takes triple, triple A's. Do we have triple A batteries? How many? Three. Um, I didn't think it would be dead. Holy shit. We don't even use it. I have two. Wait. Yeah, wait. I'm over here. Alright. Let's see. Oh, man. We are fucked. Alright, we'll just cut this whole thing. We, yeah, we are yeah. fucked. Apart from when, when your boy Dan comes through and he's always got every kind of battery on him. That is true. Wait, do you have batteries? Yeah. So you have AAA batteries? Yeah. Then what the fuck? Go get them! <laughs> what are you doing, Dan? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just waiting. I, I was, I was looking at my camera, going, "We'll see how long it takes before <laughs> I get that." Of course, I've got triple A. Oh, yeah. You're talking about save us. You're save us. Man. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Three triple A's. Sir. Yeah. Dan felt really proud yeah, right there. <laughs> Every time. You already know how it is. It did save us though, can't lie on that. What do you mean, hope they work? <laughs> they freshly charged them, will you? <laughs> oh, it's on auto. Oh, here's your box. Here's your box. Yeah, oh. it's going off. Of course it's going off. These guys are crazy. I'm going to turn this back on track and the UK with whatever's over there. Do you want to aim or ask him? Uh, I, I usually use that. I'm curious how aim will work. Well, constantly. There's something to right in front of it. Whoa, hang on. Oh, yours, turn it off. Turn it off, bro. Whoa. Bro, turn it off. Turn it off. Both going off. Oh, and Josh. At the same time. Different angles. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's not going off. Whoa. Yeah, that's not going off. Whoa. Continuous. Yeah, from farther away. They're just, they're like just standing there watching us. From far away now. Bro. That's going faster. They're going non stop. Dude, I think they're all playing us right now. How do you yeah. explain that? That's incredible. Yeah. Can't explain that. It's happened in two different instances. Hold on, right, ready? Could you please step away so we know that you are the. Stop the boxes now. Honestly, I'm fine. Okay, you really can't explain that. So this, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. If there is a way to explain it, let me know because I don't know. Could you please stop the boxes? Please. Move away from the doors. We see you. 
If you'd like to communicate, can you please step away from the devices? Uh, what do we do? Just turn them off? Might as well. Yeah. We might as well turn them off and just focus and see if they'll just talk to us now from the spirit box. Yeah. Because I don't know what's going on. I honestly don't know. Maybe they like the music. Sometimes. Yeah, that could be it. Just because we turn the devices off doesn't mean you can't come and communicate with us, so please feel free to come forward. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna go back to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right up there. Is there anybody here with us?
Can you tell us again, are you a distant relative of Francis? Do you like that Francis is the owner of this house now? We got a couple of decent things there. Yeah. Yeah, it was I like a it. pretty good conversation with them. I love that radio. Yes. I mean, dude, they said Francis when we asked a few questions. Some of them were actually intelligent responses. Yeah, for sure. I, I think 100%. that was good. That was a good I'm sure I'll pick up things while I'm listening to the editing. If you guys hear anything else, you know, let us know in the yeah. comments. Facts. It's going to be close quarters in here. Yeah, because we have to stand right here. It's supposed to be like this. like right here? Well, I... Originally, Paul said we have to just. I heard two two. Two was, two. Yeah, like two two. Like. Oh, okay. Like right. Right here is yes. fine too. As long as we're all in it. Yeah, I think we're all in it for sure. Do we have the flashlight? Probably not, huh? It's in the bag. Draw it. Yeah, we need the flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. So, what is the story down here? What, so why? The story is Paul says that one time he had an experiment. He took four people down here and lined them up. And apparently, one of their uh, flashlight came out their pocket, one of their hoods came off, their hat came off, and it wasn't them that took it off. The ghost would try to take it off. And apparently, really? back in the day, they said it was rude to keep your hat on or things like that, like proper different manners. So, we're going to try to recreate what Paul did in his experience tonight. I mean, that's, that is kind of true. I'm going to shut this door off. I mean, that is very true. Um, it, and especially at the dinner table as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you know, you know, I always wear a hat. Um, that Steve's got a hat on, so I mean, we're yeah. guinea pigs right now. Um, oh, we, oh, and we have set up the flashlight down there. Yeah, we have a flashlight right there. Yeah. Elizabeth or Beth, we're in your servant quarters. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay. No way. Oh. That was so fast. Bro. It went off only when we said that. You can't, you can't, dude, that was smart. That was perfect. That was smart. I mean, I feel like we've been communicating with Elizabeth all night so far. O Elizabeth, or Beth, if that's you, can you turn off the flashlight for us, please? Oh, oh my god. god. Holy shit. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh. Elizabeth, if that's you or not, are you upset that we have our hats and hoods on, on our heads? We heard that you were actually taking them off people's heads. If it upsets you when people wear hats or hoods inside the house, can you please turn the flashlight on again? If this is Elizabeth, and you are still here, can you turn the light on again, please? Can you turn on the light if you want us to leave? Elizabeth, or any other servant that is in this hallway with us, I have another device right here next to me. I'm pointing to it. It's on the floor. If you're here, can you come next to it and just put your energy into it? Is anybody here with us? When I said Beth, that's when the flashlight turned on. Mm. Beth, is that you? 
Beth, if you're here, can you turn the flashlight on where my foot is? Beth, can you come back and turn on the flashlight? And can you stay with us? She might not understand you too well. You have to say turn the torch on. Tor oh yeah, torch. Elizabeth, can you turn on the torch again? Alright, I'll take off my hat and say it again. Oh! oh. Why am I took off my hat? Oh no. my god, I took off my hat! Oh my god! Are, I, are you happy that I took off my hat? Oh! Oh! Bro. If, if Dan should take off his hat too, can you please turn that torch on again? Oh my god. Bro. Bro, that's intelligent responses tonight. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, okay. It wants our hats All on. of a sudden, my hat's off and it's just going on. And then it's, it's still Dan, on. Dan, I think it's just bro. bro. Do you want me to take my hat off? Flash that torch if you want me to turn, take my hat off. I mean, it said that already. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take my hat off. You ready? Turn that light on. If you're happy that he took off his hat, can you please turn on the torch again? If your name is Elizabeth, can you turn on the torch? Okay. Wow. I, mean, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, we did say it, Elizabeth, yeah. yeah. Now, if I put my hat back on, can you knock it off, please? We've heard rumors that you do. Well, let's, should we try it? I feel like that light might have been confirmation. Or right, my hat know. is now on. Feel free to take it off. What? Oh. My hat is on. You can take it off though. You have my permission. Get off. I was about to throw my elbow. Invisible ghost. They're laughing too. Yeah, yeah, they're laughing too. They like the. Do you find our banter funny? If you do, can you turn the torch off, please? Wow. Okay. That's such intelligent communication. It's beautiful. It's Thank you nice. so much. Elizabeth, if you like us, can you turn on the torch? Step back, bro. We can be friends. That's a single. Elizabeth, is it possible you can make us some pancakes? Or get us some coffee or milk? What's that? I'm hearing for step. Yeah, I heard that. Yep. What was that? Me too. Came from in that way. Yeah, yeah. There's a draft over here. Yeah, and the CCTV just turned on too, and I didn't. No one, none of us moved. No, I would love to see this cat ball go up. I'm not gonna lie. If it does, I'm gonna freak out. Elizabeth, you've been able to turn that torch on. Now there's a little ball torch right there. Can you set that off for me, please? If you can, we'll do anything you want. We'll pay you a lot of money. I don't think she'll listen to you when you have your hat back on. You ask them. Okay. 
Elizabeth, we have another device here you can play around with. It's staying right in front of Dan. It's a little ball. It's Marble. Marble. Can you go up to it? Yep, not the flashlight. We want you to touch the ball where Seth is pointing. Can you do that for us? Do you want us to go in the wine cellar, the basement? I think what we should do is end this bit before the flashlight ruins the bit because now I yeah. think we've got enough. Because right? we got yeah. we got intelligent response where it... Elizabeth, can we go upstairs to the ballroom? Are we invited for the party tonight? Light up the torch or the flashlight that you've been doing all night for us. If you want us to go up. No, I did hear a bang upstairs too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I asked that question, like, make a loud noise. Why did you even ask? I just said, like, what I was gonna do. Snap. Wait, let me see something. Yeah, try it. Oh. Okay. There we go. That's what we That's wanted. That's a good sign. We should definitely go to the ball. Oh, <gasps> what? SOS. What? Yeah. SOS. SOS. Yeah, SOS. Yeah, That's what SOS we're gonna in do. the ballroom. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's go. SOS in the ballroom. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Could you imagine though if we catch two stick figures dancing, oh, bro? That's it. That's that's all I need. That's, all we, that's the whole goal. Yeah, in my opinion. No, get that. Insane. Bro, that's it. We've took tick, probably ticked everything off bar, like something being like a door being moved or whatever. Hundred percent. Yeah. Everything else has been ticked off. Yeah. Dancing ghosts. Dancing ghosts. Out of the pockets oh, and no change. A little bit of good communication right there. Oh, we had to do this. Was good. Intelligent. That was good. That responded to her. I love the torch. Yeah. Too. It might be, maybe there's something about it being so easy for them to talk to us through it. Like, right. your energy zoom goes on. Well, yeah. the, way, the way it works is, is I, it's the slightest connection. So you could bang it and it would come on. Yeah. And all they've got to do is probably put the hand in between right. the batteries and the connector and it'll, t it'll turn it on. It I also feel like energy. they're more familiar with like a torch or a flashlight. Maybe so. I, I, don't, I don't know. Actually, I don't think so. Fire no. back then. I mean, what was it? 1950s when the first flashlight came out? And that's like the one you bought in the yeah, 1980s yeah. actually. 50s. Yeah. 50s. Okay, yeah. Oh. That's the one you bought. Oh, geez. The first flashlight was in 1950s? I think yeah. so. Okay, never mind. I had to scratch that off. There's, prob there's probably some before that, but you had to carry like a big battery around with you. Right. I mean, I'm probably so wrong, but Google it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wrong. I okay, super interesting responses in there. The flashlight, I know a lot of you are probably going to say, you know, that can be done. Uh, you know, it's just random. I mean, I agree to a point, but when you're asking a question and it is going off, um, when it's not gone off for ages, it is kind of intelligent. But I'm still like a 90% sure that it is real. But one thing I am sure of is the SLS camera. So the SLS camera sends out thousands of little laser beams and it picks up on and it picks up on bodies so we're going to take the the brand new sls camera upstairs into the ballroom and see if we can capture anything around there especially anyone dancing well you actually recorded it What was that? I don't 
<laughs> Fire in the hole. <laughs> Wow. It's not much. I'm not hearing it really. Yeah, it's not. Fuck it. Let's get the SLS so we can wrap this video. Matt just says, fuck you, Seth. Yeah. He just blew it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Josh is going to man the SLS camera. I'm going to try to record it. And... Yeah, I man, it's tracking you, so I know it works. Cool. So, what it looks like, Josh? Yeah, let's show everyone. All right, okay, so this is the new SLS camera that I bought. As you can <laughs> see there, it's following um, Seth's movements, and we're looking for stick figures now. We're going to look for stick figures in the ballroom. Hopefully, the dance is going down. We're invited to the ballroom dance. Oh. What I'm going to do is just keep playing. Going, slow steps. George is standing on my desk right now. Slow and steady wins the race. Some can go way farther, so it's a pretty short distance. Right? Yeah. Alright, it's getting calibrating. I think it's like learning. Maybe we go closer because it's getting the wall here. Yeah. I'm just seeing. Because it was calibrating stuff from way down there. That's like six, ten feet. Ooh. It's getting more. What was the stories that I said about this? Isn't there like a tall shadow figure that watches people? I didn't hear that. I forget. I don't think he, so. He told me that if you stand in the fireplace, you'll, you'll get stuff. Yeah, I thought he said that, but I also thought he said like in one of the corners there's like that shadow figure that watches people. I didn't hear that one. I'm not sure if it's this room, but I did hear that people, like, um, guests would hear people upstairs having a party. Yeah, that's legit. Yeah. There might be someone sitting on a chair, but I'm not sure. Hang on. Actually, you know what? We should ask everyone to stand up. Stand up? Yeah, like if they're sitting, to stand up or to come meet us up here. Say we're having a party in the ballroom. How about we just reenact like we're having a dance party in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> what are you going to Right? Oh. If there's anyone down there, oh. I'm going to party up here. Oh. No, come well, to join us. <laughs> Sorry. It was for a minute though. That's Steve. That's Steve. You have to caught Steve. He's a blue man in this. Blue man group. Show us oh, those moves. Oh. Can't detect him when he does. Oh wait, can it? <laughs> Damn, Steve. He's too fat now. <laughs> I'm getting too old and fat for this. <laughs> getting too old for this. <laughs> getting too old for this. Where's that from? Viewers, if you know, comment below. Come on. I'm getting too old for this. Come on. If anyone's downstairs, please come up. We're having a ballroom party. And if you're in this room, can you stand in front and start dancing for us? They must see, the ghost must see this device and be like, what is he doing? Is this a gun? <laughs> oh. Almost. 
See, it's calibrating where like it, it's like analyzing if someone's standing there, but then nothing comes up out of it. It's a curtain. Exactly. That's why it's not showing anything. Come on, baby. We haven't used SLS that much this trip, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying, everybody wants to dance. We can do that. <laughs> yep. I don't know how. Yo, yo, start. You should, you should start slow dancing with yourself. With myself? Yeah. yeah. And then maybe like a ghost will join you and we feel bad. That's a good idea. Do it, do it, do feel it, bad. do it, do it. Jesus Christ, you think I'm that lonely, bro? Do it! Maybe put the phone up so it shows. I don't know. I don't know. It's not to be slow dancing. Just like, yep. Just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's perfect. It's just so ridiculous. Yeah, keep doing it. This is like some high school shit that I never did. Just wait. He needs music. We gotta sing him a song. Sing him something. Isn't this like it? You just do That's this it. in a circle. That's it. That's all you do. <laughs> we gotta sing. Come on, Steve. Can someone yeah, join I, I our friend to dance? Singer. I think you have a proper voice. I'm first singer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you could hit that octave there. Oh, I can go higher than that. <laughs> Alright, come on. Sounds like she's trying to sleep next door. <laughs> See, the key here, guys, the reason why nothing's showing up is because you gotta leave some room for the Holy Spirit. That's true. So, oh, okay. You're right. You know, you give a little bit of room, let Jesus in there, yeah. everything will start to work out. Can someone dance with Seth? He's lonely. Dude, this is the worst thing I've ever done on my channel. <laughs> yeah, this this just went to another level. <laughs> but it started off. So, We're this, being creative. This started off so good, and now no, what we resorted really to. Good. <laughs> this is a good example. Okay, all right, hang on. We, now, we, hold this. All right, all right. Here, all right. Now hold it. Let's try right here in the center. Right, he used, used to be a great paranormal oh, explorer. It's like a, it's like a dance in a ballroom on my own. So is it, is it already tracing me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what, why did the screen turn black? Oh yeah, turn it back on. Okay. okay. I just tapped it. You good? Getting ready to do Pilates? Oh, what the hell? Bro, I thought you I were getting ready. That's Pilates. I thought you were getting ready to switch the floor and ready? go all bang on us. Yeah, I'm ready. Demiologist. Oh, Ben from Wish? Yes. What, what is that? You the the knockoff knock Ben. The knockoff Ben. Oh, the knockoff Ben? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, anything, is it detecting me though? Yes, it's detecting you. Yeah. But no telegram, one's like Nothing. Keep going though. Yeah, you keep can going. Someone, can someone dance with me? I'm dancing by myself. No, bro. No, nothing, oh, yeah, that, nothing's ever gonna come. I don't think that's ever It would have been a cool theory. Think about it. If a spirit or a human walked in here and saw you doing that by yourself, they'd turn around and walk out. <laughs> yeah. Don't you ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not right. All right, let's keep oh. airing it. Right, hang on. I, I believe this place has people in it. Hey, the only one that has to dance is Dan. Yeah, yeah Dan. You trying to dance? I thought so, Steve. Ooh. Dance with me? Yeah, dance. Maybe, yeah, maybe, 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 if we, maybe if we prop all the cameras up, right? Yeah. And, and, and you dance with Josh and I'll dance with Steve, right? And I then know, something... This, 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 this whole no. situation has gotten ridiculous, right? I think we are lack, lacking sleep, right, heavily. We are sleep deprived. Yeah, what we are, are we thinking now? We have no energy in us, right? We, we had a really bad meal where we had to rush it. We're cold. I think it's starting to get to us. Yeah, I think we're For sure. on the prison yeah. insanity here. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I we're agree. Trying to, they're trying to dance with a ghost. Yeah. Y'all crazy. Who thought of that idea to dance with a ghost? Bro, we're not the ones that went, oh. Yeah, that was, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure someone meant that into a gift, please. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to mean this. I know it. Yeah. Yeah. Turn all of this into a meme. Oh, dude. They got us good. I, I can't, I'm gonna see the Twitter comments now. We, we got ourselves. We did this too. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm still trying. I still. I'm still trying to get the ghost in SLS. You know, we haven't, I haven't went down here yet. Remember, there's still there's still something. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've used it a few times. The first time I ever used it was in a, a place called Pool Park Asylum. And we, we did capture some weird stuff in the basement. Like uh, there was something getting on the bed, it started lying down, but then it got off the bed, crawled up the wall. Mm. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I got it on camera. That was, that was weird. That's terrifying. And um, we, we used it when we was with Elton and that, and in the Screaming Woods. There was some stuff like it, they were climbing the trees, so that was weird as well. Jesus. Man. I don't think anybody's coming to our party, bro. Why is it just us? No one wants to join us. Elizabeth! Honey! Can we dance? Can you stand in front of me? I'm desperate for some ghost. Yeah, yeah, you right sound now. desperate. Yeah. I just want I just want to see a ghost. Do, 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 do. Steve, no. That's Francis' bedroom. Yeah. No way. Yeah. He's in here. You're not allowed, you're not allowed that way. Oh, you're my bad. I'm just curious. This is Francis' bedroom. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yeah. Oh crap. My bad. I was like looking for like secret doors in here. Yeah. I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, there's someone here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask if they wanna dance then while we're here. Right here, really quick. Do you wanna dance with me? Who do you wanna dance with out of us four? Can't win them all, boys. It's true. Yeah. You really can't win them all. We use the bathroom really quick. The oh. bathroom. Okay, Steve. You know, I've never really been good with girls, so I'm pretty sure I'm not good with ghost girls either. <laughs> Let alone trying to dance with them. Whoa. I thought it did. Nah, I probably didn't. <laughs> just came up. Yeah, it's just one whole day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were getting some here. I mean, it gets set really well when it starts. I mean, it's this, this, the, the realism. This is the it's, realism. I know, it's, it's, it is real. Yeah, and we've had so much luck recently on this trip. Yeah, even like, tonight. I mean, yeah, we had, the, really fun. we had the music boxes. Yeah, yeah You can't explain light. that. The flashlight. The flashlight was on point tonight, though. Uh -huh. We had some good EVPs. Yeah. Yeah, we had stuff. I so mean, the spare box was fun tonight. It's definitely not a bus. Whoa, did that chair just move? That? I thought I heard a chair first. I thought I heard it sounded like a chair just moved. I don't know what that was. Where's the guy? Steve's on to the toilet, so it could have been him moving something downstairs, but it sounded like it was in here. Can you move the chair again? I'm telling you. Oh, my thing turned off. Hang on. If that's you, can you please make yourself known for us? Can you move the chair again? Alright, fuck that, that's Steve. Fuck you, Steve. Alright, let me keep going again. Steve in the secret room there on the right. I was going to say, wasn't that door open? Yep. Yeah, he's jerking off. Him. Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, if you guys want to know who takes this the least serious, it's him. Yep. <laughs> he's the skeptic here. Hey, I'm just having fun, boys. I'm just having fun. Yeah, you're right. He did, he did scare me. I got you guys today. today. Yeah, he did get me. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you get scared. I, I did like tense up a bit, like, ah, and then 
<laughs> yeah, I think we call it a night. I mean, we had some good stuff, but this is kind of getting a little bit silly trying to dance with us. I thought it was going to work. I mean, it, it, we, we tried it. We yeah, tried, yeah. we failed. Miserable. We don't speak about it ever again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Facts. I'm glad this isn't going on the internet. Yeah. Uh, what? What? Oh, there was someone here. I just heard them start screaming, so I turned my camera back on. Was there actually something next to me? Can yeah. you stand next to Seth right now? As soon as... Wait. Why is Seth gone off it? Not even Seth is on it now. Oh, wait. We just saw something. Wait a minute. Oh, something's calibrating on Seth's right side. Can you go back and stand right next to Seth? Dude, there was someone next to you, I swear. It was the uh, for a second. Did you it on for, I think for a second, yeah. Wait. Why won't I even do it no more, you fuckers? Hang on. In exit pose, keep it for two seconds. Dude, I'm telling you, there was someone next to you. Now it's not working. It came and went really quickly. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it wasn't. Can you stand next to Seth? Go to the fireplace. And we're gonna pick our dance partners. Wait, come on, come on. Please make me. Someone reach out and take my hand. Come on. Imagine. No one's Maybe no one's here. We're fishing for something that's nothing, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all done. It was, it was there for a minute. I feel like it's fine right now. Makes it wait. All right, goodbye, house. Well, I was slightly disappointed we didn't get anything on the SLS camera, but the good thing is, I've got it. I'm going to be using it more often. Along with all the other equipment, we're building up quite an arsenal. If there's anything in these buildings or forests with the equipment we've got, we're going to detect it. Anyway, next episode is going to be part of a new mini series, which is going to be a Dogman series. We visit a local woodland which has been renowned for dogman sightings. We do a daytime explore, a night explore, and then the last episode, we camp overnight. You already know. Bro, you're like Ben from Wish. <laughs>